So, um, it's at the end of the video right now. It would be any depends where I put this. Um, but, um, my friend, uh, he owns a channel with the B Show. Uh, he's done a lot of, like, yeah, he's done some videos. And he stopped posting, I think it was last year. And, um, we don't, we don't accept that. We don't accept that. So, we need to get him to 1,000 views. And I know that's a lot. That's 500 views. And then he'll start posting again. So I know you guys can do it. You guys got me to 15,000. I know you guys can get me to 1,000. Well, at least him to 1,000. And also subscribe to him. That would be just awesome. And yeah, thank you guys for watching this. I don't even know how I'm putting this up. Why am I doing the outro? Let's just either roll the video or leave. Okay. Hey guys, welcome back to Asher's Amphibians and Reptiles. Um, today we're going to be talking about the signs of shed in a snake and how to get perfect sheds. So, um, let's first talk about the signs of shed. Um, there's a whole bunch of signs, but I'm only going to get into some of the more, like, yeah, I'm just going to get into, just not all of them, I'm just going to get into some of them. Although, I think there's more than what I'm going to mention, I'm pretty sure. But, signs of shed could be, number one, it could be their eyes are cloudy. Like, um, their eyes, they almost look blind, but they're not blind. It's just because they're about to shed. And for some reason, Sherman, when he's about to shed, he goes all cloudy, he's... And it goes all cloudy and stuff, and then he goes right back to bright, and then the next day he sheds. So it's pretty cool, pretty cool. Um, well, I'm actually gonna, like, okay, let me actually just continue. There's also pink belly. Pink belly um, is just like, basically flip your snake over and you can see the stomach is pink, or the belly is pink. And yeah, that's another way of finding out how, like, finding out that they're about to shed and there's also the um oh it's showing what's it called uh, what's it called i can't speak oh yeah um it's like um oh my goodness i what does my script say let me, let me just check i just check two hours later Okay, so, um, I'm back, and it says, like, um, it's like their scales on, like, because Sherman's a bright snake, he's a very bright orange snake, but, um, when they're about to go to shed, they're not going to be bright, they're going to be actually cloudy and, like, grayer, like, dark gray, and I just want to see if I can actually get Sherman up here. Never mind, she doesn't actually want to come up, um. I tried to give him a chance to come up, but he didn't want to come up. So, um, but yeah, so it's those signs. And those are more of the more common signs. Um, when they're just about to shed, they'll go and they'll, like, rub themselves against everything because they're trying to get out of their shed. But those are the signs. And now here, then now let me show you how to get, like, perfect sheds. But first, I gotta show you a pic, uh, gotta show you a perfect shed. All right, I got sheds in here. These are my snake sheds. So, sh basically only show them. Let me find a good one here. Oh, this was, I think, his last shed. And this was almost his complete body. Like, the headpiece isn't on there, like, as you can see. But this is his entire body. It doesn't even fit on the camera. That's his, that was his entire body, and his head, of course, is going to come off because that's what he kind of slithers out of. I dropped the bag. And then, yeah, so so it's like, it's really cool. I actually keep these because these are very good isopods and springtails like them and bioactive. Bioactive cages or, or enclosures, I should say. And, yeah. So that's why I like to keep them just in case. I want to see if I can find a headpiece in here. This I have it from like his his full shed, guys. 
Oh, here it is. I think this is his second shed. Yes, yeah, this is his second shed. Do you... Focus camera. Okay, let me get a, a better um, angle of it. There's shed everywhere. Let me get All right, it. so here's a better angle, I should say. So those are his eyes right there, and they don't actually have, like eyelids they have eye caps which is just a clear scale over top of the eye and so that sheds off and you have to be careful when they get when it gets stuck on their head the shed because it can go on their eyes and then you might not remove it and then um it can more shed can come on and that can actually cause some serious issues but yeah that's his eye shed now, while I'm talking to you guys, I'm gonna put this shed away. Um, but how to get a good shed like this is pretty simple. Um, if you watched my, um, my humidity box video, you'll know how to make a humidity box, and then that'll show you how to, you know, to, that'll show you, like, to get perfect sheds. Um, or you can give them baths right before. I usually give him a bath right before I dry him off and then I put him in his humidity box. And the humidity box is a hole, so if he doesn't want to go in there, he'll come out. But um, yeah, he's gotten actually pretty good at using his humidity box, which is awesome. But um, uh, I think I got shed skin stuck in my ear. Whatever. Um, so then the shed he'll be able to get all of the um the um the the skin better than he would if it was drier that's why for drier like that's why for all snakes you should give them a humidity you should give them a humidity box because um it gives them better sheds and um yeah so um give him baths i give showman a bath like every single time it's about to shed i'm actually gonna give him a bath today um after i film another video i think i'm gonna film another video but um sneak peek i haven't done this is video i haven't done in a long time it's about a be a dragon so uh stay tuned for that um but um yeah uh thank you guys for watching this video um don't forget to email me a picture a, a rept of your reptiles cage uh, enclosure and then I will rate them I, I haven't even got any yet and I'm really sad because that would have been such a good video I see like Hunter, Hawk and Elves, Reptiles and all these other reptile channels that do that and I was like man I kind of want to do one so um, if you want to see that video and you have a reptile um, email me I'll put the email, my email in the description below but, uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching this episode. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, comment below what video you want to see for Monday. Sorry, I haven't posted in a little while. Um, yeah. Uh, don't forget to like and turn the notification bell on because then you'll get notified on my videos and you might be the, the first to comment and the first to like it. So, um, so yeah. Go check them out, and yeah, thank you guys for watching this video, and I will see you on Monday.